Welcome back guys. So today we're taking a look at another arcade stick option that we could be using for our Retrobit Super Retrocade or for a Raspberry Pi Retro Pi setup. So many different options we got with these things. But here this one is. This one comes complete, ready to go. All your buttons, USB cables, sticks, everything assembled. And it typically goes for under a hundred bucks. I thought it would be cool to take a look at this. It is quite a bit cheaper than the Game Room Solutions option, but you know, you get what you pay for typically, and I wanted to see if this is a viable option, you know, especially for those of us who just casually want to play some arcade games. Right now I do have this plugged into the Raspberry Pi 3, but you can also use this for the Super Retrocade, and I will be showing you exactly how to get this set up to use on the Retrocade. It's pretty simple, but it does take a little work. I've gone through and done a bunch of diagrams. This time, you know, not hand-drawn on paper, but actual diagrams I put together to show you how to pin this out for your Super Retrocade. But I just wanted to kind of test and see, do these buttons, do these stock sticks feel good? Are they worthy? of us using this to play our, you know, arcade games on these different setups. And so far my impression is that yes, this is a cheaper option than Game Room Solutions, but at the same time, it does feel really good. The buttons are very responsive. The stick is a little loose compared to what I'm normally used to, but I'm still able to use it without any kind of you know, weird inputs or, you know, misfires or anything like that. It just feels a little bit looser to me than a normal stick, like a Sanwa or a more higher end stick, you know, a Sanwa Saimitsu or even a Suzo Hap stick. So these, yes, they feel a bit cheaper. The buttons feel pretty good. Um, they're a cross between that clicky feel and that silent feel of a Sanwa button. You can't really knock them. This thing is fully upgradable. The one thing I do want to say is if you do get a stick like this, and I will be putting the link in the description if you want to grab this. If you want to get this and you have the intentions of fully upgrading everything, you're going to be in it too much money to where you should just get a higher quality stick such as the Game Room Solutions two player arcade control panel. That's, that's my main thing. If you're looking at this to upgrade it, do not buy it. Unless you just have a bunch of parts lying around. That's a different story. If you don't have to invest any extra money, then okay. But if you're looking at investing, putting Sanwa sticks, Sanwa buttons, all that kind of stuff, I say no, don't do it. Just get the kit from Game Room Solutions and get yourself some nice buttons and everything. But, you know, just messing with this, the stick does feel okay, a little loose. These little dust covers do need to go. They're kind of weird looking. They got some Chinese writing and branding on them. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. This thing is completely acrylic. It is a fingerprint and dust magnet. Just point that out. There are some suction cups underneath. And at first I thought that kind of seemed cheap and ugly looking. But it actually works out pretty well. I'm using this little IKEA table that I do a lot of my recording on. Uh, a lot of close-ups and whatnot, and it actually sticks and stays on this table very well, and it's not a glossy table, it is a matte finish table. This does not use these type of encoders, but you can easily swap them out if you have you know, any of these encoders, and I will be showing a diagram right now on how we can utilize this. But first, let me show you some up-close pictures of the inside of this stick. So here is the stick with the top removed. All our wiring and you know buttons and everything you know not the neatest job possible but it gets the job done you can you know maybe do a little more cable management there but everything works and is secured nicely so next up let's take a closer look at the arcade stick so the actual stick here it seems more of a kind of like a hap style I don't know these micro switches but they seem to be pretty clicky and nice this is the USB encoder that they use, and I have diagrammed this out. So let's go ahead and take a look at the diagrams now. Okay, so in order to use this arcade stick 
in particular with our Super Retrocade, you'd have to do a little bit of rewiring. Pretty simple stuff. You do not need to unplug anything from the actual micro switch on the buttons. You just need to pull the connections from the board. So we're looking at either zero delay or the Joy USB that is included with this, this fight stick. Um, and as you see, this diagram right here is the original style controller for the Retrocade. So if you want to wire it that way with your buttons as follows, the top three are Y, X, and L, and then the bottom three are B, A, and R. That mimics the controller like the Super Nintendo controller. So you see I have a number below each, and then the top two buttons, 9 and 10, that's your select and start. So you would just move those connections to the board where those corresponding numbers are. So the Joy USB number one is the top left. On the zero delay, it is the bottom left, and so on and so forth. Pretty easy. But the preferred method, in my opinion, is to do the Street Fighter style. So let's look at the diagram for that. Okay, so this is how you would, you know, wire up your stick for Street Fighter style. Out the box, you could play Street Fighter no problem. Follow these numbers and make note of the lettering because certain things with the Super Retrocade are going to be using those buttons, like the X button is the, the filter, um, you know, A is confirmed, so on and so forth. Pretty simple stuff. But this is how you would, you know, go ahead and wire it up either on the zero delay or the included Joy USB encoder to be able to play Street Fighter out the box and then just get accustomed to the controls for everything else. Pretty awesome stuff. So let's go ahead and continue talking about this stick and I'll give you more of my impressions and thoughts. Okay guys, and here is one thing I forgot to mention. Those top, you know, uh, ports on the zero delay, those are for your up, down, left, and right for your arcade stick and it's you know clearly marked so you can easily rewire this to zero delays if you so choose you know you could always change this out for led buttons all that kind of thing things but like i said to me it's not really worth investing money in for me the way i'm looking at this stick is for under a hundred dollars this has been priced anywhere between 80 to 100 bucks kind of fluctuates um, you can get this on banggood.com. Link will be in the description. There's a few other places I've seen it, but it seems like Banggood has the best deal for it right now. When I got it, it was closer to 80 bucks. I did have to wait a little while. It did get stuck in some kind of customs or, or something. I'm not 100%, but it got stuck for a few weeks, and you know I was getting kind of antsy. I was like, I want this now. I want to peep this out. But like I said, these buttons... The stick, everything feels pretty good. For under $100, you're getting a two-player arcade stick that you can use multi-purpose on your Super Retrocade or your Raspberry Pi using, you know, RetroPi or Recall Box or whatever. You could also use this on your PC. It is USB, so that is definitely a good thing. It does come with some kind of software disc. I have no clue if it's drivers or something, but there is no way in hell that I am putting that disc in my PC. It looks wonky as heck. It looks like some kid made it and is trying to sell his, you know, mixtape on the side street or something. So I have no clue what's on that disc and I'm not going to bother trying to find out. But, you know, paying $80 to $100 for this? Am I happy with that? I think so. There are better options, more expensive options, but just to have something quick and easy that you don't have to mess with, but you can customize and fix and repair if need be in the future, this is a definite awesome option. The thing is, is yeah, it does have a cheaper feel to it than the Game Room Solutions, but you're paying half of the price for a full setup. The plexiglass feels good, but like I said, it's scratch prone and fingerprint prone, so you really have to be careful with that. Uh, it seems like over time, even wiping it off, it's going to get little micro scratches in it. So just get used to that unless you decal it up. I mean, you could easily remove all the buttons, slap a bunch of sticker art on here, decals, vinyl, whatever you want, and then, you know, put everything back in. I think it would look pretty slick. You know, my first impression looking at this, the bottom pieces seem a little cheap looking. The, the acrylic looks nice. Um, but you know, the suction cups and the weird finish of the plastic on the bottom, uh, it, it does have a little cheap look to it. Just being honest with you, but customizable, like I said, throw stickers on everything that you don't like the way it looks. But for me, having it looking the way it does right now is fine by me other than 
the little dust guards. The dust guards look stupid, just being honest. I'm going to get rid of those. I have extra dust guards, so no big deal. So I do give this, you know, a thumbs up. Uh, I can't say two thumbs up necessarily because I do prefer my game room solution stick. But this is something my kids could beat up on or, you know, maybe I'll use for future projects. Definitely enjoying that I can use this on RetroPie or the Super Retrocade. But, you know, with any build that we're doing for the Super Retrocade, you are going to have to manipulate some things and rewire it. So there is a little bit of work involved. Just keep that in mind if you're getting this for the Retrocade. So I appreciate you guys stopping in. Smash that like button if you could. Subscribe if you have not done so already. And hey, if you have any questions, throw them down there in the comment section. I'd be happy to help. Catch you guys next time. Peace out. Boom. Bye-bye.